tech and art in India don't seem to meet each other often enough. We put a complex idea of climate change and a complex idea of AI in the same festival. Since yesterday, I think I've been in a kind of trance. It's like you step out, it's Bangalore. You step in, it's not the current world. That's the vibe I get. We had close to 20 art pieces, four panel discussions, artist sharings, five performances, film screenings, and a whole ton more of very engaged audiences. For me, it is important that this festival takes part here, a place where climate change effects and are more visible. And there is amazing work happening in India. That was something that we wanted to bring along with the, with the title of the, of the festival. I think public art makes a huge difference to create a sense of belonging, to open our imaginations to newer possibilities. So I think uh, these festivals make a huge difference. It gives me a huge amount of hope to be at a festival like this where we have so many innovative young people coming together from a whole range of different backgrounds and experiences and disciplines really committed to making a difference. Future Fantastic looks like a place where we can live comfortably, easily, in harmony. And it gives me an optimistic air. Technology is a new way of life. It's infiltrated many other parts of our lives. And so artists playing with tech and innovating with it, using it as the contemporary toolbrush is something important in the way to go. The thinking process for, on both ends is very different. As an engineer, you start with the big picture view. Okay, this is the problem. Um, these are the, perhaps the possibilities of solutions. And then you just keep going narrow and narrow and be like, okay, this is the solution. This is an art, especially tech art, where it starts with a cool new tool, know nothing about it, let me play around with it. The first time I touched a computer, when it, when it starts processing, no, I'll move my wheelchair behind because I think the computer's going to blow or something like that. Yeah, I also like that only because you don't know what it is, you don't know and you're also worried about making some stupid mistakes, but it is those stupid mistakes that will actually save us. And that creates a space for experimentation, for challenging ideas, for finding, okay, where does this break, where does this work, and what are the new ways of creating with these technologies, and what are those sort of possibilities, and also obstacles and challenges. In the early times, what you call AI is slightly different than what it is right now. You see that it has strengths which could benefit me as an artist. And when that happens, a better connection gets built. And that's what I think uh, seemed to happen with many people. Art, as an interface, we can actually connect artificial intelligence and real human beings, and then just put them inside of the data stream so that we can now experience new phenomena and kind of see how stressful, how paradigm shifting, and how catastrophic and beautiful artificial intelligence can be. We have a lot of native art forms that are still traditional, indigenous and stuff. Seeing how that can combine with AI and technology, the latest technology and what comes out of that is something I'm uh, very excited about in terms of what Future Fantastic can do for the artistic landscape. I think it's like rightly timed and it's, it's a place that everybody immediately wants to explore more about AI and the potential that exists. So I think it's much needed at this, at this point. It's a really great way to get more forms of expression and give space for people who don't usually have a voice. So we do have workshops, fellowships, maker spaces where people come together and work towards something. And we have dialogues where we've got experts in the field um, who come together, talk about uh, various critical discussions. A 
festival like this makes it easy for people who are completely unaware of the AI but are interested to learn more. So just step in, participate and just be a part of it and just go back and perhaps see where it can be useful or it cannot be. For AI and its repercussions to reach that common denominator is going to take a little more time in a populated country like India where facilities are not available for everyone, right? But uh, that doesn't mean that we lag behind. AI is a very good companion. It serves as a good practice device, I think. That's my learning from whatever I saw. I think overall the energy of the festival has been extremely infectious. 